Hello and welcome to my channel again. Good to see you. So today we're gonna make this little conch shell bowl or a makeup holder. Let's see how we did that. So I got this mold for the shell from Amazon. It was a set of two and I found the shape very cute and different than the other molds available right now. I used KS resin for this project. It's really one of my favorite resins to use. I've been using it for the past two years and I really, really like that it cures very hard and has a very high heat resistance. I'm gonna include the link down in the description box. So here you can see I poured some clear resin and then I added these shell pieces that I had got from, I think, Michael's or Joanne's. I'm not really sure, but some craft store. Uh, it came in a bag of, I think, a pound. And so I used this little shell pieces and I used a, a wooden stir stick to push them around a little bit and place them wherever I needed. I added enough shell pieces to cover the bottom of the mold. Uh, that would actually make the top or the lip of the mold when we demold it. So I just wanted the shells around that area. So I put them as needed over there. I decided to fill the rest of the bowl with some glitter mix and I mixed up a couple of glitters as you will see next. So I mixed two different types of glitters in this. The first one is a iridescent teal or a mermaidy kind of a glitter. Uh, I got this I think from Dollar Tree or Dollar Zone somewhere. And the other one is from Michaels. It's a holographic blue glitter with silver mixed in it. So I kind of wanted that sea or beachy vibe. So you'll see when I mix the glitters, it gives a very different tealish blue color. I really like that color. So when you do this, make sure you're mixing the glitter pretty well. Otherwise it might form some lumps. It looks a little fast over here because the video has been sped up, but don't mix it too vigorously or you'll form bubbles in the resin and then it kind of ruins the whole piece. So gently stir till it all mixes and then pour it into the mold. Make sure you pour it very slowly and not too far from the mold. So after it was done, I just added a little tag of my name in the back and then just left it alone and let it cure for the next 24 hours. Um, after 24 hours, you can see I was demolding this and let's see how it turned out. Did you enjoy that crunchy ASMR sound? I love, love, love that sound that it makes when you demold a resin item. So here it is, the conch bowl. I demold it specifically in the sun because I like to see how the light reflects off the piece. You can see those little cute rainbows inside it. See how beautiful it looks against the black background too. See those little rainbows inside. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for stopping by and let me know if you want to know about anything specific or if you know how I made uh, anything that you saw on my IG or Facebook. All my links are down below in the description box. I would appreciate if you could 
uh, visit me on IG or FB and follow me there. Thanks for visiting and have a good day.